Let's practice formatting cells and ranges for Excel 2013. So imagine we have this wonderful hyperlink here, www.skydrive.com, and we want to, one, merge and center multiple cells. Let's begin by highlighting the cells you want to merge. So we're going to merge all these cells, and we want it centered. Let's click on the button on the Home tab, Merge and Center. So you can see that it's centered and depending on which option I choose, it's going to either move up or down. Right now it's already centered. And here we have this middle align button. So I'm going to click on middle align. You can see that it goes up and down. If I choose top align, it goes near the top. Bottom align goes near the bottom. I'm going to leave it at middle align. And of course, if you change the background color to yellow, it applies to the whole merged cell range. Let's now try challenge number two. Let's wrap text and unwrap text. If we were to type into the cell, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, let's click on A6 and go to the Home tab and click on this button called Wrap Text. When you click on it, you can see that all the information fits within this column. If I were to make column A a bit bigger, you can see that it's occupying more space. Similar to before, we can also top align it so that it's there. And of course, if we make it skinnier, all the words try to fit in. We can also click on the wrap text button again to leave it as it was before. Number three. Let's try turning on text wrapping, in particular rows. So we already wrapped and unwrapped text. Let's click on row six. And what we could do is we could hold the shift button to get all this, this entire range. Or we can just click on row six, this number here, and hold down the control button. Control, and I'm gonna click on this other row. And you can see that we get the select as well as the select by control clicking again exactly the rows that we want and don't want so in this case we have rows six and eight selected and we're going to turn on text wrapping for these two rows let's go to wrap text and you can see that the text is wrapping for row six and row eight however row seven is unaffected So I just want to mention uh, the point about merging and centering cells. If you highlight a, a range of cells and you click on the Merge and Center button, it merges it and centers the, whatever the text is inside. And if you click on the button again, it goes back to the way in which it was unmerged. Okay, so now let's focus on point number four, angled headings. So here are the headings I want to angle, student, test one, test two, test three. And let's look at the button over here. This is the orientation. Under the Home tab, if you click on this button here, you can choose clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's choose this one here. You can even choose vertical text. So I'm just going to choose the first option here and see what happens. Wow, there we go. Looks pretty neat. So now let's focus on this uh, number point number five. Let's uh, focus on a particular number format with no decimals. So let's focus on the salesperson. Salesperson AAA on day one, day two, day three made some money. So I'm gonna highlight these three, three rows just to focus on this salesperson AAA. And I'm gonna click on this home tab dollar sign, which is the accounting number format. So there we go, we have a nice dollar sign format with no decimals. Wow, we really should be keeping it, but just for learning purposes, let's focus on this button over here, which is decimal decrease. So I'm going to click on this button once and then twice. So you can see that now we're rounding to the closest dollar. So to apply this format, I'm going to press Control C, which is copy. I'm going to highlight the range that I want this format to be applied to. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste just the formatting, which is the second last option here. There we go. Now, of course, if you change your mind, decide to apply the formatting. So for this entire information here, I want to increase the decimal. I'm going to click on this button here, one, two. 
we should be keeping the, the pennies here. This is something that you can do. So let's continue point number six up to eight in the, in the next video.